Good day, fellow St. Lucians. As of today, Friday, October 23rd, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded its 48th confirmed positive COVID-19 case. As a country, we need to keep persevering in our fight against this potentially deadly virus. Thus far, we have been able to manage the spread of the virus, chiefly due to our adherence to the protocols established by our public health officials. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force has been tasked with the responsibility of achieving crime reduction, but also securing the health of our citizens for ensuring that the measures implemented to reduce the spread are observed. In keeping with this commitment to our country, following consultation with the Office of the Chief Medical Officer, other public health officials and stakeholders, a decision has been made to prohibit the hosting of all mass crowd events, including junior creole activities, with the exception of single household gatherings. Failure to adhere to this will result in the event being shut down by the police and defaulters prosecuted. This decision was not easily made, as we are well aware of the significance of this annual activity to our nation. We encourage all St. Lucians to remember that it is not only the, the gathering which demarcates our culture, but it is also the language, our bonds with each other, our recollection of history, and our general respect for the well-being of our neighbors. Let us shift the focus of this year's celebration to a commemoration of health and life, as we dedicate our efforts to controlling the spread of the COVID-19. At this point, I urge all St. Lucians to refer to the amendments to the COVID-19 Prevention and Control Prohibition of Assemblies Order of 2020. Section 2 has been replaced, and the new section reads, A person shall not host or attend a A. Social event or B. Tournament contact sports that consists of more than 50 persons. End of quote. The St. Lucia Police Force continues to encourage all to adhere to the protocols, particularly adherence to the wearing of masks and social distancing as we continue the fight against COVID-19. We have done well thus far as a country. Let us not give up now. We'd like to thank the hard working men and women of the Royal Central Police Force. We have performed tremendously to date. As we continue to enforce our laws, I urge you to continue to do prof so professionally and respect the fundamental rights and freedoms of all at all times. I thank you.